Patrol Officer Megan Hall, Patrol Officer Juan Lugo Perez, Sergeant Lewis Powell, Detective Seneca Shields, and Sergeant Henry Ty McGowan. Three others have been suspended, K-9 Officer Larry Holliday, Patrol Officer Patrick Magliocco, and Patrol Officer Gavin Schober. To the street. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a story that is in the early running for probably most insane story of the year that involves several police officers out of Laverne, Tennessee, that were fired following discovery of a sex scandal in which uh, you had a bunch of male police officers having sex with... <laughs> a female police officer while on duty okay i mean in slang terminology uh they were running a choo 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 right on one female officer again this story is fascinating for multiple reasons so without further ado i'm gonna play some video clips so you guys can get an understanding of what was going on here uh and then some reactions from the locals in regards to this story take a look Shocked and disappointed, that's the word from one city leader as several Laverne police officers are off the job, all linked to a sexual misconduct scandal. Good evening, I'm Vicki Yates. And I'm Rory Johnston. Yeah, tonight, News Channel 5's Nick Barris shares the very latest developments as this investigation continues. Several Laverne police officers here are caught up in something of a scandal. Everything from inappropriate sexual conduct, sexual harassment, lying, and word is, that's not the end of it. Shocked and overall disappointed with uh, our police department and what's, what's happened. Newly elected Alderman Kara Hobbs says since the story broke on Friday, she's been flooded with constituent calls. It's been really frustrating from a leadership standpoint to have citizens' questions and concerns regarding this, and I'm learning the details right along with the general public. Here is what we know. An internal investigative report documents explicit and graphic detail of officers involved in sexual misconduct, some of it happening while on duty and on city property. Five have been fired. Patrol Officer Megan Hall, Patrol Officer Juan Lugo Perez, Sergeant Lewis Powell, Detective Seneca Shields, and Sergeant Henry Ty McGowan. Three others have been suspended, K-9 Officer Larry Holliday, Patrol Officer Patrick Magliocco, and Patrol Officer Gavin Schoberl. Hobbs says details of the investigation made public so far have shaken public confidence in the PD. There's definitely going to be a, a time period where we're going to have to really emphasize rebuilding the trust of our, our community. Yeah. Police Chief Chip Davis issued a statement saying, in part, the actions of a few do not represent the entire department. The situation will be addressed internally and that counselors are being brought in to help officers. He also says there is sufficient staff remaining to cover all patrol shifts. At this point, these are all internal police department violations, but I did talk to the Rutherford County District Attorney. He says at this point, there's no evidence of criminal activity but it's something he will be watching very closely. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. All right, Nick, thank you. By the way, Laverne's mayor, Jason Cole, said he thinks the situation is unacceptable. His top priority is rebuilding the trust between the department and the public. People living here in Laverne tell me they want accountability from their police department after the investigation into sexual relationships within the evening shift. A shocking 20 page report has been completed into sexual relationships at the Laverne Police Department. Some happening while officers were on duty and at work. Doing something while you're at work, I mean, for everybody else who goes to work, you know, we're held to that same standard. Jerry Howell says he was in disbelief when first reading the report and wants changes from city leaders. The investigation says Mayor Jason Cole got the first tip about the relationships. It's just bad. It's like a stain, I guess. We requested an interview with Mayor Cole, but was told he was not willing to talk on camera. Instead, he released a statement saying in part, we will be retraining all of our employees in the rules, regulations and expectations set forth by city leadership. It'll be a wake up call for Laverne, but also a wake up call for our police department to uh, take care of themselves. 
<laughs> so you guys see that you heard that. Let me tell you guys how much of a troll Fox News is. Okay, so this is their article about this story, right? It says Tennessee police fire out the wild accusations of cop threesome on duty sexual escapades. So their video that they, they played for this is a train. <laughs> yeah, a mess, Priscilla. Bruh, whoever, whoever, whoever wrote this Fox News article oh, is a clown, bro. Oh, they are a clown. They knew what they were doing. Oh. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Yo, Fox News, whoever wrote this article, Emil Colton, I know what she was doing. I know what she was doing. I know what she was insinuating. And I think that she deserves a raise, right? I think that Emil Colton deserves a raise. But again, uh, this woman, uh, Megan Hall, okay, uh, the female officer, um, was involved in rampant sexual escapades including a girls going wild style hot tub party engaging in menage twice <laughs> right uh she was giving sloppy top in the back office okay getting her cheeks clapped while she's getting banged over the desk okay in the locker room in the shower probably in the training room she literally um you know, was a part of an adult film set, right? <laughs> Except at the police office. Again, it's absolutely incredible. Now, again, this woman is married, by the way, okay? Married to a man who I guess technically nails a cock. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if this not only took place in the office, but it also took place outside the office and home because there's no way this guy did not know that his wife was going in the office and getting a train ran on her during the night shift there's no way he didn't know right i'm just saying there's no way this guy did not know that this what was going on with his wife he had to have known he had to have known he probably he probably liked it he probably was into it because allegedly uh they were in an open relationship right an open marriage right she said they're in an open marriage so he's definitely into it okay if she felt discomfortable doing all this at work again i think that he approved of it because, okay, you know, there are some dudes that are into that. They're into their wife, you know, basically acting like a real life adult film star. I mean, this right here is like a script from an adult film. I know there are going to be a ton of adult film sites that are going to create <laughs> movies with this exact plot. Innocent, <laughs> married, blonde, petite, <laughs> small, white woman police officer, okay, has encounters with... BBC <laughs> on the job at the police station, okay? Handcuffed over the desk, okay? In the jail cell, right? In the boss's office, in the lieutenant's office, right? I'm, I'm just saying, again, you can create all types of stuff. She's going to have a hell of an OnlyFans career after this. She's definitely going to have uh, a whole lot of opportunities. She's probably going to become a millionaire overnight as soon as she uh, launches her OnlyFans Um she already clearly has the experience. She's very comfortable doing all types of crazy stuff like that. Um, so I think she'll be fine. Now, these other guys, not so much, okay? They ruined their career over something that, in my opinion, um, you know, is extremely mediocre, right? And probably not worth it, okay? Half of those officers that got fired probably were married themselves. And I got to say this, you know, in a normal situation like this, I don't care what people do. OK, I don't care if you sleep with your co-workers and stuff like that, but this person's married, which, again, still not none of my business. I don't really care about that, but it's also on the job. Right. If they was doing this off the job, there's only so much I can say. Right. Even though, again, I think that, you know, being married and, you know, cheating and doing all that stuff, you know, I think is wrong. But who knows? I think in this situation, her husband was cool with it. But I'm just saying. The fact that you did it at the workplace is the real problem. Because you didn't commit no crime, right? You didn't do anything illegal, but you did it on the job. Why do it on the job? You don't have to. I don't <laughs> understand. I really don't. Uh, but again, who knows? Maybe her husband was not cool with it. Maybe he didn't know about it. And if he didn't know about it, uh, God bless his soul, right? I feel sorry for him. You know, uh, somebody, you know, check in on him, <laughs> right? Do a wellness check. Because if that was me, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what I would do in that situation. I would be heated, okay? Um, but, you know, I mean, 
it is what it is, right? I mean, they got fired, but I, I just think that stuff like this, in my opinion, is never worth it, right? It is never worth engaging in these types of activities with your colleagues that are married in the first place. And especially not worth it when you engage these type of activities with your colleagues on the job, right? There's so many stories about people ruining their careers, losing their jobs over some, you know, temporary pleasure at the workplace or with their coworkers that are married. And it's just like, maybe this is why men and women shouldn't work together, right? Maybe this is why men and women should not work together in the same workplaces. I'm just saying, I'm not going that far, right? I'm not going that far with it. But I'm just saying, it makes me question those type of things because this happens all the time in the workforce. You know, I, I don't necessarily have a problem with, you know, two single people in the workplace, you know, hooking up or whatever. That's your business. But oftentimes, you know, it ends up being a whole lot of married folks. They end up doing it on the job, you know, in the break room, in the parking lot. And it's just a whole lot of drama. And in this town's case, they lost, what, like 10 to 12 percent of their police force uh, over this. Right. Which is going to hurt the town is going to hurt the community because there will be less police. But hey, at least there'll be plenty of overtime for the other officers who didn't get caught up in this. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.